Second, you'll want to consider the pickup pattern. Whether you're talking about film style or desk mounted boom mics, the most popular pickup pattern is cardioid, which focuses on audio directly in front of the microphone capsule. Some desk mounted boom mics might even use a super cardioid pickup pattern, which is even more directional. There are some extra considerations if you want to use your boom microphone for streaming. While the aesthetics of a microphone mean nothing when it comes to audio quality, this may be something to consider when the microphone is always going to be on screen. The first thing to consider for a desk-mounted boom mic is whether to opt for a USB or XLR microphone. USB microphones are easier to use, as you don't need an audio interface to use them. On the other hand, you have much more to choose from if you opt for an XLR microphone, though you'll need an interface to get the audio into your computer. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Shure SM7B. Our pick for the best boom mic isn't just the best for streaming or broadcast it's one of the best mics you can buy under $500, period. The Shure SM7B is a broadcast mainstay, but it's also been used for vocals on countless legendary recordings. The SM7B is an XLR mic, so you'll need an audio interface to use it with your computer. It's also a tougher microphone to gain stage properly, Sure recommends at least 60 dB of gain, so you'll want to ensure that your interface preamps have plenty of power. If your interface isn't very powerful but does support phantom power, you can use a device like the Cloudlifter CL1 for extra gain. Number 2. NZXT Capsule Mini. Finding a mic you can place on a boom arm at a budget price is easy, but finding an affordable mic and boom arm combo is much more difficult. The NZXT Capsule Mini is a great affordable boom mic option, as it has an affordable companion in the NZXT Boom Arm Mini, and both together cost less than our favorite overall pick. This is a USB microphone, which is better for your budget since you don't need to invest in an audio interface on top of it. It also simplifies recording or streaming since you only need to plug it in and go. The microphone supports recordings up to 24 bit 48 kHz perfect for podcasting or streaming. The NZXT Capsule Mini is, as the name implies, on the small side. This means it's portable and stays out of the way, even when you include the stand that comes along with the mic. This is especially useful if you're on a budget since you can buy the microphone to make sure you like it and use the stand as a stopgap, upgrading to the boom arm later if you like the microphone. While it isn't part of the package, the NZXT Boom Arm Mini is intended as a companion to the Capsule Mini. Funnily enough, the Boom Arm is built more sturdy than the microphone itself, so if you opt for the Boom Arm, you may have it around long after you've upgraded to a better mic, as it can sometimes feel flimsy, as we learned in our NZXT Capture Mini review. Number 3. Rode NTG2. One complication of the battery power option is that there isn't an on-off switch for the microphone. This means that if you want to preserve the life of the AA battery, you'll need to remove it when you're not using the microphone. This is mainly just an inconvenience, but still one worth mentioning. The microphone is relatively bare-bones, delivering solid audio without much required in the way of setup. There is a single switch on the microphone that rolls off low frequencies. If you're filming in a busier area, this is a great way to reduce the background noise of trucks and other noisy vehicles. It also helps to prevent rumbles from wind noise. In the standard package, you get the Rode NTG2, a windscreen, and a standard mount. This will usually work, but Rode offers a few alternative kits. You can buy the NTG2 with a deluxe windscreen or another version with a shock mount. Number 4. Sennheiser Profile USB Microphone Streaming Set The boom arm that comes with the Profile Streaming Set is surprisingly high quality. It features a cable management channel on one side, helping keep the USB cable out of your way. While the boom arm doesn't feature adjustments to tighten sections of the boom arm, this is because the arm does an impressive job of holding steady until you manually adjust it. The Sennheiser Profile features a frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz and supports 24-bit-48 kHz audio. This seems fairly standard, and it is, but this doesn't speak to just how good the audio is on the profile. 
It uses subtle built-in DSP to make your voice sound its best, but never flat or overly processed. The Sennheiser Profile Mic is available bundled with the boom arm, but if you already have a boom arm you love, you can also buy a standalone version of the microphone. For more in-depth information, see our review of the Sennheiser Profile. The boom arm that comes with the Profile streaming set is surprisingly high quality. It features a cable management channel on one side, helping keep the USB cable out of your way. While the boom arm doesn't feature adjustments to tighten sections of the boom arm, this is because the arm does an impressive job of holding steady until you manually adjust it. The Sennheiser Profile features a frequency range of 20 Hz to 20 kHz and supports 24-bit slash 48 kHz audio. This seems fairly standard, and it is, but this doesn't speak to just how good the audio is on the profile. It uses subtle built-in DSP to make your voice sound its best, but never flat or overly processed. The Sennheiser Profile mic is available bundled with the boom arm, but if you already have a boom arm you love, you can also buy a standalone version of the microphone. For more in-depth information, see our review of the Sennheiser Profile. Number 5. Rode PSA-1. While many boom arms are meant to work with certain mics, this isn't the case with the PSA-1. If your microphone is within the weight limits and has a standard mounting option, it should work with the PSA-1. This stand supports microphones weighing up to 2.4 pounds, shock mount included. This is just a boom arm, so it doesn't come with a microphone. Assuming you've chosen an XLR microphone you want to use and you're using this boom arm, you can opt for the bundle that includes a Focusrite Scarlett Solo Audio interface so you're ready to start streaming or broadcasting. While desk mount boom arms tend to look similar, all it takes is some time using a subpar mount to understand why it's worth spending a little more on a better model. The Rode PSA-1 is far from the most expensive desk mount boom arm you can buy, but it's solid enough that most people will be happy with their purchase. Like most boom arms, the base attaches to your desk, while the boom arm can swivel 360 degrees around. The arm features up to 3 feet of horizontal reach, meaning you can mount it near the back of your desk without worrying that it will reach a comfortable speaking position.